thousands of new rooms? A rework of quest lines? Major redesigns to back layers? General rebalancing 40 brand new arenas I will not see? Let's try out Greeny Porcini's Encore mod. It's going to be amazing. Hello, ladies, gents, and filth chewing pigs. It is Greeny Porcini's Encore mod. Does it Encore? Encore like a imbecile? Ugh. Look at the wonderful uh, bisexual lighting. I like it. Let's go in to the adventure mode. Hmm, I did enable, yeah, okay, it does allow me to have beautiful custom people. Let's go in there. We get to grab a journal and everything, huh? Let's see, let's see how it begins. I'll go through the tutorial, I don't mind. It uses its own save game. Wow, it's been 15 years since my last save. Okay, this is the exact same thing, isn't it? It basically, when you use the mod, mod lunky dialogue, it resets the save game, or allows you to reset the save game. And I always click it whenever it is recommended. I don't think I should have for this one, but it really doesn't matter. I really don't want to grab these. I'm just going to whip them out of my way. How about that? You ain't the boss of me. You ain't the boss of me. Let me cook this bomb and just completely ignore the crap out of you, huh? Rope my way back up. Kind of nostalgic, actually, to go through the actual tutorial of the video game that I haven't gone through since the start of the this giant Splunky 2 adventure. There's no real reason to go back here because you can just use the chain, but it's just it's just neat. I like it. It's been a long time. I mean, I've done the tutorial area a bajillion plus one times. But seeing those journal entries is giving me a little bit of tingle of nostalgia for the release time. Pet the dog, pet the dog, pet the dog. I can't pet the dog. Happy spelunking though. Throw that key in there. Pet the dog, pet the dog. I can't pet the dog. What a terrible oversight. Okay, Neo Paco is going to go into these dumbass moon caves. He's going to dominate this stupid ass place. What do you think? Greeny Porcini, that you can actually throw me for a loop, uh, give me unfamiliar territory and think that I will not be able to handle it? You are sadly mistaken, sir. I'm going to go through these areas and I'm going to completely dominate them with no trouble whatsoever. So there's supposed to be a whole bunch of surprises. If I wanted to, I could have gone into the mod files and there's like a full documentation of all the changes but obviously we want to do a little bit of discovery a little bit of adventuring make sure that we uh, are going to be surprised by some of the new additions already you can see the rooms are a little funky a little different pretty sure the color of these dwellings it's a little bit more red perhaps foretelling of all the blood i shall spill Filthy mole. i hate you it really does give it a, a different feeling a different feeling altogether navigating these areas that are familiar but different for example thank you thank you greenie for fixing one of the most egregious problems in Spelunky 2 that I will never not bitch about. I don't care how many times I have bitched about this. I will tell you once more, there's zero reason to not be able to not be able to move the damn chest. Oh, we actually opened it with because we grabbed the the key out of the altar. That was neat. A very niche use. Boom! Very niche use of that arrow. I mean, that arrow, that mm, key, master key. But do we want to piss off our shopkeepers? You know what? You know what? You know what? I am a cautious individual. This is this is new and exciting territory. I don't want to piss off shopkeepers just yet. There's no reason to go in here. Waste of a rope. Feeling pretty stupid. I will buy these. Wonderful new prescription. 
doctor recommended so I can better see the monsters that are going to eat my face. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be legit by the book using ropes to trigger traps. Don't try to do anything fancy or weird. And it really, like, the impression I get right away. It's like, man, is, is there really a mod going on? Is, isn't this the original caves? But no. Like, the shapes of the rooms is diff are different. But they blend so nicely with the original mm -hmm. style. I'm like, this completely belongs in the original video game. Feels like Derek Yu should have spent a few more hours coming up with proper level generation. Damn it! I haven't done some gambling in quite some quite some time. Always rewarded for spending my money in dubious ways. Gorgeous. Now he is so pleased with me. So pleased. If I destroy this block, will he be mad? It is not a, uh, a, a shopkeeper tile. He'll be mad though, right? I've been playing mods for too long. I have no memory of what the actual rules are. Mm. I guess we're leaving. There's just nothing else to be found. Uh, are we going to face my most loathed encounter? Definitely looks at, like a different Tarino. But it is... Mole man. Like, I appreciate at least there's a, a bit of a much more, much different layout, you know? It's not the exact same boring ass nonsense, but Mole man is still here. It seems like the spirit of this mod is very much. Let's blend in with the original game. Let's do, let's do Splunky 2 Plus. That is the spirit of the mod. I don't think that it was. It's like, oh, you did not aim that right second bomb not aimed that correctly there is a pile of spikes <laughs> now in the middle of the arena uh, i do want to kill i do want to kill filth ass mole man i want to use another bomb though oh but he does have bombs in his bottle so ah help ourselves to those bombs indeed using a rope is worth a little bit of help Oh yeah. All these journal entries though. Here I am. Here's Paco. He's like, I ate a turkey today. I found a fully cooked turkey. It was delicious. It was a little dirty from all the debris and blood from my enemies. But I still... What is this vo voice for Paco? What is this voice for Paco? What is going on? I found a turkey today. It was real good. But that reminds me. There was a comment saying, no Cinco de Mayo this year? What's going on? It's like, oh, yeah, that's right. That, that's the thing I do. <laughs> I completely forgot it. I entirely forgot Cinco de Mayo. Sure, you can have a little bit of cash. I don't mind, Tunnel Lady. I don't mind. Entirely forgot. Like, uh, work. This year, the post office has just been out of control. It's been such a freaking annoyance. That's why the videos have been a lot less consistent than they used to be. I, I, I've i been so damn distracted with the day job that uh, completely forgot Cinco de Mayo. And now it feels just kind of silly to put out a Cinco de Mayo video at the end of May instead of on the date. I might still do it, though. Just for the sake of tradition. This is not lethal, is it? Especially not if you use the cushion of... Your enemy's head. Pretty great. Dastardly area here. Hard to get around. It'd be awesome to get a Cali out there somewhere. We already have a jar full of jizz. So there's no reason. Usually we have this pickaxe. So it was. We may have been. No, no. We wouldn't have been stuck. Uh, something that was specifically mentioned in the mod page. How the levels are. More devious, they are more challenging, like the layouts and stuff. Which, by the way, what happened to my pickaxe? I think I dropped it like a buffoon. Um, they are more devious, more challenging to navigate, but 
they should still be doable with 0% resources. It's gotta be a little bit more crafty. So I look forward to maybe finding a situation where you really did, cannot get around it. That way, Greeny Porcini gets really embarrassed. So I live for stuff like that. It's making people uncomfortable. That's why I show up only wearing thongs now and then to to my workplace. <laughs> Literally. Oh man, there's so many. Whenever, as soon as I quit, I'm gonna have so many cool anecdotes for the from the post office to share. That <laughs> right now they feel a little too uh, a little too identifiable and personal. The moment I quit, I'll be like making a video going like, "Do not work at the post office. It is full of crazy people." Very nice. Look at this. Look at this shotgun. This pleases me greatly. Indeed, the back layer is uh, quite a, lot, a bit more elaborate. Where does this go? Nope. It goes nowhere. That's where it goes. Uh, we are a little pressed for time. I think it is time to find ourselves the exit where we came from. Let's get the hell out of this area. Carry on with life. Anyway, without getting into detail, long story short, one of my co-workers just completely shirtless in the work floor. It was the most, one of the most jarring things. There's been some real funky nonsense going on. Oh, this is just a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> this is just this is just pain incarnate. Uh, clearly a bomb is required here. I think I can jump, shoot, and get out of the way. I think that's doable, okay? Let that be said, that I think that's doable. Instead though, we're going to do the smarter play. Was that the smarter play? I'm not sure. Wow. I deserve revenge. Get spiked, bitch. No, oh, oh, you asshole! <laughs> I was too distracted. Too damn distracted by the carnage. I was so happy watching that fellow die a terrible death, being humiliated by my incredible power. That uh, like I had seen it before I approached it. Like when I first sur surveyed the area, I saw it, and then completely forgot that it was there once the violence started. Quite sad. At least these new levels, they really kind of guarantee that the, the shopkeepers are not going to be a problem because you can just go around the 20 new, 20 new obstacles. Is, is he going to be mad? No. You're not mad, are you? There you go. Oh, thank you. Surely you have given Yang more of a reason to exist. Right, Greeny? Please tell me this so. Please tell me the area behind this is not a complete waste of my time. Well, more's the troll. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Mr. Porcini. Once more, demonstrating not everything is fixable. Not everything deserves attention. I mean, Yang really was improved from 1.0 version of Spelunky 2. If you never played that, Yang was way worse. I don't think he like he could never spawn crates or something like that. Uh, or maybe I'm I am thinking about uh, shopkeeper jails. Either way, attention was paid. We can just jump and use the, our climbing gloves. There you go. Attention was paid to stuff like that because it was just egregious. I guess Mr. Porcini decided, eh, it's good enough. Yang does nothing else. He gets murder in the face anyway. Oh, that's right. You guys are, are mad at me for no reason whatsoever. I'm just an entrepreneurial guy. Oh, what is this exit though? <laughs> there, is no, there is no way to operate here. <laughs> I'm screwed. 
I guess I could maybe give him a rope. He might go over to his buddy's side. This is Merc. This Merc. Could you maybe uh, keep going up? Stop with the looping. It would be great if he just got stuck next to his idiot friend. Let's well put a bomb here to get the crate. Alright. That was perhaps less uh, good than it should have been, but it's alright. It's nice, it's so refreshing to go through dwellings that are not this boring same old crap garbage. Okay, so I've made the situation worse. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Perfectly executed. Oh, I'm just too good. I'm just too good. To be destroyed. By such simple traps. You didn't expect that, did ya? You thought I would be just dropping dead right away. Alright, let's take uh, take a look. At the back layer. I'm like purposely going out of my way to check it out. Definitely, it's basically just another level in the back layer, huh? A cool, another level generated just full of freaking scorpions. There was some kind of treasure. There was some kind of treasure to be found. Oh, so let's let's go and see what's down there. Chest over there. Man, look at these platforms. This is really cool. I like it. Yeah, just a crate. Appreciate its existence. Push this out. Crush the insect. That is an exit, but what is at the bottom? Another exit. Basically allows you to bypass a bunch of things. Oh, this is... The Mole Man Areno. <laughs> I did not even realize. I just... Too freaking dumb. Oh, 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 well. Oh, oh, still alive. Somehow. What the hell, brother? Kind of want to go back up. Let's see if we can get some health out of Mole Man. Oh, sticky bombs, though. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. He's totally gonna roll this way, right? Trying to uh, kill me? When he gets close enough, obviously. Does he maybe not walk when you don't get close enough? I really don't want to spend another bomb. Hey! Hey! Whoa! <laughs> okay. That should be it. Yeah! Give this health I need it! I'm in dire need of more chicken. Alright, let's check out Volcana. Why not open this up? Hello, Alto. You're not that tall. What a misnomer. No. My bombs are my own. You look like a damn terrorist. I'm not going to finance your operation. I am not American. I don't give terrorists the means to destroy me 10 years down the line. Alright, let's just get out of here. Paco is a proud Mexican. Do that kind of stuff. Alright, we don't have, no longer have the sweet, sweet key of, of doom. Please let that entire situation all right, it's so self-contained, good stuff. I was slightly concerned. I did hear the kitty. Is it up there? Yeah. Um, probably worth it, right? If I bomb this, the ball and chain is going to destroy the altar. I can just see it. So here, hopefully it won't happen. I'm an idiot. <laughs> a moron? And then I died to fire to the face. Well done. Well done. It was ex slightly challenging to get back here. Let's not dwell upon it. Everything's fine. 
<laughs> now have a uh, incidental Kapala. It's all good. I have solved all my problems simply by throwing my head at it until until my life was resolved completely. I keep walking into enemies though, a bit of a problem when I'm trying to keep my health up. Luckily, the extreme violence that I have been indulging was fully forgiven. Please, no reflecting bullet. That will be too much for me to handle right now. I will be very upset. I suppose that I'm done with this side of the of the map. Did you change the tile color? I want to say it did. This is more blue. It's like... Just like the game is more saturated with stuff, the color of the game is more saturated with color. Need a totally uh, worthy purchase. Look at me buying the good stuff. For some reason, I also bought specs, even though I have the Ujarai in my inventory. I'm the smartest cookie, but I never claimed to be. I just brute force my problems until they stop being problems. They just become victims. Did you also fix the boring challenge? Let's find out. Or is it going to be same old boring challenge? Looks like a boring challenge to me. Does the boring challenge need fixing? I don't know. I will just remove it from the game altogether, but that's just me. <laughs> that's just me after doing it 20 bajillion times. It is different, though. It spawned in a different spot. But other than that, it seems pretty damn similar. Same old spirit of digging through things. Like, the boring challenge was never that much of an offender. It's just the cosmic grind is what makes it a pain in the ass. But when you only do it now and then, you know, digging through these blocks is really not that big a deal. Anyway, I don't want uh, this piece of trash I just wanted. Then I have something in my hand. Something amazing, something that solves my problems. Indeed, the problem solver. There it is. Just for a good spice, let's just murder rat face for no reason. Just making my life more spicy. I hate this. <laughs> I'm going to hop across instead of trying to be fancy. Wow. It's too much. Too much. Get me out of here. I hate it. Should be a drill coming up at some point. I feel like, um, and this is not putting one above the other or anything like that. In fact, Greeny Porcini lists it as a big inspiration. John Lunky. I feel like Greeny Porcini went more out of his way to make his mod really blend with the video game. John Lunky, it was like the new areas and the new rooms, you could, uh, they were a little more disting distinguishable from the original. This still feels very much like, okay, again, it's not a diss, it just seems like a, a little bit of a different philosophy. Like, make these just a, a, an improvement on things, instead of trying to change the levels. But still, like, it's very noticeable that it's new, but it also blends so nicely. It blends so nicely. So do they explode when you grab it? I don't find out. Yes, they do! <laughs> you asshole! Friggin... Mr. Porcini trying to destroy me. I would like to go into the... the locked area. I ain't got no key, though. The drill was always a fun time. So, I will be surprised if this changed. Why change something that has always worked well? Maybe make it so that no lava generates in this path. But it's always, you know, interesting. An interesting conundrum. When you have to deal with it. So... It's like, if something works... Don't touch it. If something is infuriating... That's when you walk in try to make it better. That's right, with the piss off rat face. <laughs> it's the thing that we did. We shoot down the chute 
until Rafi stop being a problem. Like I said, I apply brute force to my problems until they become victims. Rat face will be no different. To the exit, Major Stupid. Obviously, we have to go to Vlad's. We're not going to assume the rat face is dead. It really should be. I'm going to assume no more lava is to come from above. Pretty sure rat face got roasted. Alright. This is a, a bit of a problem. There you are. Oh, there are more crates. I like it. A different entrance, too. Very, very cool looking. I like it a lot. I mean, you know, it's just different. A little bit more intimidating with the cool lava color. But if that were the original entrance, I wouldn't bat an eyeball. Definitely the level generation differences have been extended to Vlad's cave. For this is much, much different. And much, much appreciated. And it's very clear that, you know, the design is not deliberate. It is probably like 50-50 randomized. I would even call it 75% randomized. This guy's a menace. We have lots of rope. We can definitely spare them to do this. Actually, I could probably shotgun jump there. It's all funky. Don't crush my shotgun. Always liked opening these chests. Even though the riches are pretty damn worthless to me. All about the drip. A lot of slaves up there. We didn't free Van Horsing. And we don't have the bow. Yeah. This space seems still almost the same, but it's not quite. We need to get a little bit more lucky with the stump. Son of a bitch. But you know, the, this spacing still seems perfectly fine in order to get it done. He's just, just a lucky piece of garbage, isn't he? Unless, maybe, wonder if he's able to set the teleport range. And it's always max. It is possible. But I'm going to assume we've just been unlucky. Come on, you piece of trash. Yeah, we're, we're just being you know, terribly unlucky. What is it? Maybe a 50-50 chance of him getting one of those two blocks? There you go. Holy crap. What a scum lord. I think it's like a 1 in 3, right? Because there's six different blocks that it can... That it can, uh, the distance is like 4 to 8 or 4 to 9 or something like that. Oh, there is a lady with a cat in her hair. Very insulting. Crazy cat lady. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, my legion of slaves is not long for this world. Maybe one of them will survive before, by the time I get to the exit. Rainbow. Hey, we sir got three surviving slaves. And here we have. I actually had Sat Olmec enabled, but it did not take. Wonder if he changed something with Olmec then. Nothing interesting up there. We could do the shortcut, but I'm not gonna. I'm just going to do standard old Olmec. It's been long enough for me not to resent them in any capacity. Get this piece of garbage all the way to the bottom. The arena looks pretty similar. I wouldn't say it's the same. There's more gaps, more stuff going on down there. But it feels extremely similar. And that's fine. You know, everything needs to change. But I could I used some kind of new fancy thing going on here. Maybe the phase three will have it. Not saying that there should be. I was just kind of expecting all of it. The, the, again, the differences are, are just pretty subtle. Just like Major Stupid spawned in the middle, as opposed to spawning at the top like he always does. Or whenever he does, he'll be at the top. That was needlessly dangerous, but. <laughs> 
I just do live on the edge of danger. I cannot be held back. Some silly golden face. Hope you go down to the nonsense. Get your ass roasted. We exit the area. Get out of here. Wonder if the back layer got. Yeah, okay, the back layer has undergone a few changes. I see freaking scorpions ready to poison me. Some cavemen that have claimed this as their home. Probably their guts have become fully immune to the scorpion poison because I don't think there is an exit for these idiots to find. That's pretty cool. The way that, that uh, lit up like that. Only four bombs. I would like to have this crate, but it is a bit of a challenge to reach. And it's actually impossible to reach. Unless I expertly cook a bomb or spend two bombs, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. A key, huh? Okay. That's interesting. Ha! There is Tunnel Man. He gave me a key. What is this key for? Let's look for a lock. Oh, exit from here. Unfortunate. Will there be a door? Do I need to carry this key forward? What have you done, Mr. Porcini? I mean, the torches are lighting up the way. But I don't think they're related to anything. I'm going to explore the entirety of this area. Although I am quite I'm fairly certain. There's nothing going on here. Nothing else. I have a nice weapon to get rid of these damn scorpions. Left my shotgun all the way to the top with freaking Olmec. No, that's just a uh, chest. Maybe it's a key, so you're able to open... <clears throat> ...the way to this weirdo? I only have four bombs. I can't be sparing no bombs. You're going to be carrying the bomb. I mean, the key forward. Grab the key, buddy. One of them did. Alright. One of them will take the key with him. Let's go tide pool. Hmm. Just in case, let me look. Maybe it is locked. Oh, you can't go to the temple unless you have the key. Eh. Let's go to the temple. I'm down here. Might as well do it. What the hell? Excuse me, madam. How dare you be this aggressive? <laughs> this is all in here. Oh! My key carrier! Stop! Disaster. Pretty sure that key is just a standard key that does absolutely nothing. Like the usual keys do. You just open some random treasure box that does nothing for me. Death upon you. Well, there goes my scepter. <laughs> Perfectly calculated. Look at that. Do you guys see that excellent... Calculation of risk and reward. <laughs> I'm just too good at this game. Cannot be stopped. Get rid of that garbage. Uh, Surely you're not going to ruin my life, right? All right. Well, unfortunate. Just like that, my way into the city of gold has been fully barred. But that's fine. They didn't want to go there anyway. And I'm, I'm in it for the adventure, not the treasure. What the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, that was a little upset. Okay. Well, I'm rolling with the punches. Just go forward. Hello, rat face. Yes, we will do your challenge. And then shoot you straight in the face again. Because my heart is full of violence. I cannot help it. I was born this way. 
You don't judge the guys for being born that way. Well, why would you judge me? Huh? If I now and then feel like putting my shotgun in people's mouth and pulling the trigger, huh? Uh, you, you can't be judging me for things that are out of my control. Okay. Give me that sweet, sweet pile of health. Let me just put this right in your mouth. Undo your life. It's all right. You'll just come back to life because you're a magical being. I trust you will be back. I want those things. I want them. This cat makes my life so much harder, though. Yep. Put a bomb. Oh, that's all too close. There is. You scumboard. You scum bucket. Yeah! 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 <laughs> <coughs> distractions! Too many freaking distractions! <laughs> My beautiful cape! It has been lost forever! My beautiful cape! This is what I get. This is what I get for embracing violence. Well, there goes my beautiful power pack, and you're alive! No! I thought for sure you had exploded. Well, I'll be back. <laughs>